ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. That's right, folks. It is the show that everybody in the Madden Barber League looks forward to each and every year. It is the Madden Team Selection Show for Madden 20. 32 users in the NBL, and we will have 32 new teams chosen. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I'm Nick Mazesco, your NBL Network Director. I'm hanging out with the two co-commissioners of the NBL. It is Bomber and Lip. And Bomber, we say it each and every year when we get to the show. This is as fun as a show as it gets to because there are surprises uh, you, there are always probably, I would say, five or six uh, bombshells dropped in the show. And on top of all that, for a lot of the guys in the league, this is a time for if you had a bad cycle, if you had a team you didn't like so much, guess what? You have to reset that button and pick somebody new this year. Yeah, this is an opportunity to kind of right the ship. Maybe you had a bad Madden 19 cycle. Madden 20, we've been loving the game so far. Now you get an opportunity to pick one of these uh, high-octane teams, maybe get some superstar abilities, some abilities, some X-Factors, all that great stuff added into Madden 20. The hype is real, and this is why it's the favorite show for the majority of our guys. It happens once a year, so it keeps the, the adrenaline up. The hype is real, as I said earlier, and now we get an opportunity to see how it all plays out. Uh, as a shout out to all the guys who are subbing in the chat. Appreciate you guys. Uh, just saw Under Oath with the 12 months. Nasty Noop in the chat. What's going on, man? It's L for you going on. What's up in the chat? Uh, Lip, uh, here's a question. I'm going to ask you one off the top of your head. Give me a team that you think is going to go earlier than most people expected to, and give me a team that you think is going to fall farther than most people expected to. A team that I think is, is going to go earlier 
Um, I, I really think that the Colts are going to go earlier, and and that's because they were taken. Very, you know, I think they were dead last last year, so they made some improvements. Um, they don't have a lot of talent on the uh, on the entire team, other than they got Andrew Luck and they got some really good linemen. So uh, so far, we've seen linemen play be pretty important. So that's a team that I think that's going to go earlier than a lot of people expect. The team that I think is going to go later is uh i think it's going to be the falcons i think that they have a lot of talent but a lot of people have talked about how their contracts are not fantastic so they uh are, are i think that that's going to be the team that falls just because the contract situation in atlanta is not ideal in my opinion well let's not make the people wait any longer i don't know if Sclam has already started out sending a message or not but they can go ahead and do it they can Sclam can get this ready uh each team has uh a two minute clock to pick their team but bomber new wrinkle this year we have a pass the pick let the people know what pass the pick is and uh what it can do for somebody uh who is eligible for it absolutely a select uh group of owners i think it's from pick five all the way to pick 15 15 yeah. might be 16. Uh, you get an opportunity to pass the pick. Here's how it works. Your pick comes up. You're not interested in selecting at this point. Maybe you want to see where a couple guys in front of you might go before you want to select your team. You can pass the pick. When you pass the pick, it goes to the very next pick. He's going to select where he wants to go. Then every selection after you've passed your pick to the initial to the initial first guy, you get 30 seconds into their run to say, hold up, I want to use my pass the pick. And then you can jump in front of whoever you want to jump in front of and select your pick before they do. Uh, it's not as confusing as I might have just explained it. It's actually pretty simple. I think I actually did a bad job explaining it, OSU. Maybe you want to uh, clean it up <laughs> a little bit. You can just pass the pick up until the point that you want to pick again. That's all it is. It is you exactly. can drop back. And you can go you can all the way to the end if you, take it. If, you, yeah. if you want to maybe see how divisions fill out. Uh, it's only for... Uh, Picks five through fifteen. It might be five through sixteen. Um, it's a, a group of NBL owners who uh, contribute a lot. So let's get right to it. Uh, let's just start off with the number one overall pick, and it is the Commissioner Bomber on the call right now. Madden nineteen Bomber, the Detroit Lions, as he has been every cycle. And Gibbs saying, Bomber's going Lions. He says we all know where Bomber's going to going. Tried and true Detroit Lions and Matt Stafford. The Lions are his favorite team. He has plenty of history with the franchise. If the Lions are not in the playoffs in the first season, it would be a surprise to me. You already submitted your pick to us, Glam. Uh, well, well, here, before we get started, man, six years of the NBL. It's been a phenomenal ride. Six Maddens, slightly over five years, actually. Uh, I've been to Lions every single time, seven championships. Uh, we've been to the Super Bowl 13 times. It's been a phenomenal run. I've absolutely enjoyed my stay as a Detroit Lions super fan. But the time is now to make a change. Born 20 minutes outside of the, of the city that I'm actually going to select. Back in my home state, I played with this guy, DeAndre Hopkins, last year. OSU, put it on the screen. We're switching it up for Madden 20. Uh, Bomber's going to be going with the Houston, the Texans. Houston Texans. And uh, you see the Houston Texans, 74 overall, 73 on offense, 81 on defense, but plenty of X factors on the team, including DeAndre Hopkins with that double me. JJ Watt has Fearmonger and Jadavian Clowney, a tough defense with some offensive weapons. What are you most excited about playing with the Texans for? Uh, the Texans have a, uh, a plethora of superstar players, ability players uh, in, key, in key spots, Jadavian Clowney, JJ Watt. DeAndre Hopkins, along with the Sean Watson, uh, can get outside Porter of the pocket. Porter is actively crying in the chat because he was talking about 30 minutes ago. Was, I, I want the Texans. I'm going Texans. Yeah, Houston's off the board. Sorry about that. My main man, Porter, is going to have to find somebody <laughs> else. But uh, I'm, I'm going with Houston. I was born right outside the city. I get to see him every Sunday. I do like the team. I'm a big fan of Deshaun Watson. Absolutely love DeAndre Hopkins. Fell in love with him when he became a Lion in the last three, two, three seasons. Two seasons, actually, uh, of Madden 19. Wasn't able to get it done. Went to the Super Bowl twice. Did not come away with a dub. Hopefully can right the ship here. Pick number one, Houston Texans. Bomber, that's me. And uh, I'm headed to Houston. I'm really excited. Uh, Lip, you were the big surprise last year. I think most people would agree. Going away from the Pittsburgh Steelers, going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. This one, yeah. I think hitting the uh, league just as hard. Your thoughts on Bomber going to Houston? I, I think it's great. It's honestly, it was, I, I told October this and, and he, you know, he remembers. Um, it's nice to get away from the team. Like I was Pittsburgh for so long. It's nice to get away from the team that it's like your identity. And it's nice to get away from that team. Try something different. Go somewhere new. You got different teams, different team, different players to manage, different experience. It's it's totally new. And, I, and I'm really proud of Bomber for doing it um, because it's a whole new thing. And, and it's going to be a different chapter 
that's going to be attached to Bomber's, you know, legacy in NBL. So I think it's a great move, and I and I, I like people to to switch off of their you know long term teams sometimes. And this is a really great move for him because uh, you know Hopkins and a lot of these players are really great. There you go. Just like that. Big shout out to Darcy Knight to put this together. Bomber, the first team taken off the board. He's going Houston Texan. All right. Well, let's get uh, two out of the three on this broadcast out of the way. As uh, number two on the clock is, of course, the co-commissioner Lip. 42, 151, and one in the NBL. 21 division titles, seven conference titles, four Super Bowl titles. Last season, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Gibbs predicting... The Kansas City Chiefs says, I feel like Lip is going to go with Mahomes and the Chiefs. Lip loves the Steelers, and Big Ben is always calling, but I don't think he can pass up the young star QB. Uh, and Lip, uh, a, a little bit of a trying cycle. Not quite the success you've had in past cycles. Uh, so um, the pick is in. Let us know. Are you heading back home to Pittsburgh? Are you going somewhere else? Where are you thinking for Madden 20? Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of thought in my mind to go back to Pittsburgh, go back to Big Ben, but... I'm definitely going with the Chiefs, and it's simply because the ability of Patrick Mahomes to throw on the run in any in any situation, you're not totally out of a play out of whenever you're in trouble because of Patrick Mahomes' ability to throw. Um, the Jaguars cycle was not a great one for me, but I tried some stuff, uh, you know, learned what kind of player I am, and it's 100% an offensive player, and the Chiefs fit that exactly perfectly. So I'm going there, and I'm going to use Patrick Mahomes and, and try to get some stuff done. Plenty of uh, of high-powered offensive weapons, of course. Travis Kelsey at tight end. Uh, Tyreek Hill at wide receiver. Bomber, let go in the Kansas City Chiefs. So i got to ask this question because I'm thinking back. I'm going through my mind. Have you and Lip ever been in the same conference? No, this is a first. This is a first on many yep. uh, fronts yep, for yep, the yep. NBL. Uh, we have a lot of changes with trades now, uh, rule changes coming out uh, of the woodwork to really expand uh, play calling along with expanding the experience within the league, giving our owners a lot of leeway to make some changes. But no, we've never been in the same conference before, usually because to keep an eye on the league, you got one guy in yeah. one conference, one in the other, just a simple formula. But the NBL has grown so much. We're just kind of past that right now. A lot of people, uh, this is fairly expected. I think most were expecting Lyft to go to the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Motor saying possible future AFC championship matchup. Could the uh, commissioner rivalry be back on the docket? <laughs> People are already saying the AFC is better than the NFC. <laughs> well, let's go to the number three overall pick, and that is, of course, another admin. It is Night Train, a.k.a. N Train, 271, 304, and 1 in the NBL with six division titles. Last season, Bomber used the Houston Texans, saw some success. Never really solidified that quarterback position. Didn't seem comfortable with Deshaun Watson. Uh, had uh, Dustin Jerry in there. Gibbs predicting that Entrance is going to go to the Indianapolis Colts. He said, we were told directly from the man himself that he is not 100%, but is leaning hard towards the Colts and Andrew Luck. Train would be getting a team that has a lot of solid pieces for him to build off of. And if there's one person that knows how to throw the scent off of where they're going, it is Entrain, <laughs> who has said he's been every team from the Colts to the Browns to the Jaguars to the Boise State Broncos. You can't ever believe what the man says. He's also said the Ravens. I think the only team he hasn't said he was going to be is the Lions, and probably because he didn't think they were going to be available at this pick. So, uh, yeah, Train is a guy that definitely likes to throw out a bunch of teams and put out there that he's going to go here or there. But he ends up usually going with where we usually predicted him to go. And I don't think tonight's going to be any different. I kind of have the inside source on where I believe Train was going, and I think he's still on that uh, track right now. So I'd be surprised if he goes elsewhere, but I don't want to play spoilers so far. Uh, Lip, where, where did you think he was going? Is it uh, kind of a hometown pick for you as well? Yeah, I, I think uh, I think I'm kind of in the same situation you are. I kind of have an idea, and uh, I would like well, let's, to. Let's just let's stop. Anyone. I would like the pick to be revealed. He's going to the Cleveland Browns. He's staying home. I'm so excited. I'm so it's excited. Take the hometown I, team. It's good yeah. to see people take their hometown team. Yeah, um, I, I want to try and take the Browns because I wanted him to be the Browns. They, they have an amazing roster. They have a lot of great players. They have a lot of fun players. Um, they have a lot of fun players on defense. I think Train's going to have a lot of fun with and really enjoy those uh, those Browns. So I'm very excited for him. Uh, Bomber, tons of weapons on this Cleveland Browns team for uh, Train to have some fun with. Yeah, Miles Jack. Uh, excuse me, not Miles Jack. Oh, Miles not Garrett. Try again. Miles Garrett, Odell Beckham, David Njoku, Baker Mayfield. Uh, you got Hunt at halfback, Chubb at halfback, Duke Johnson Jr. on the defensive side, Denzel Ward. I mean, I could go on and on. This team is stacked. 
uh, locked and loaded and ready to go. All the, also, Jarvis Landry at wide receiver. There is a ton, a ton of talent on this team. I'm excited if I'm trained. And uh, with the trade rules being lifted and the ability to just kind of go and flow wherever you want, this gives them a lot of tradable guys. There's only one other team out there, OSU, that really has this kind of firepower. Yeah, he gets that uh, as, uh, who just said in there? Uh, Rick Flair saying, Hunt, Chubb, best running back combo. Don't forget about Duke Johnson. Uh, as uh, Train is going, he's going home. He's like LeBron James. He's writing the letter. He's finally coming home. He's going to the Cleveland Browns. Number four overall, we head to October. Another admin in the NBL. 210, 365, and one in the NBL. Four division titles last season. The Philadelphia Eagles. Gibbs predicted he stays with the Philadelphia Eagles. So where else would October go but his Philadelphia Eagles? I think October will always go with his favorite team, the Eagles, no matter the current squad. He'll have plenty of targets for Wentz with tight end Ertz, wide receiver Jeffrey, wide receiver Jackson, and wide receiver Aguilar Lip. Where are you feeling October is heading here in Madden 20? Good talk. I don't think Lip's here. That's fine. Uh, oh, San Francisco, there you go. Uh, excuse me, the, the Philadelphia, up, it's not the, Philadelphia fun, the Philadelphia Eagles... Uh, Obviously, the front runners uh, for October to go there back home. There were a couple dark horses. He talked uh, Oakland Raiders and San Francisco 49ers, so those three teams are, are definitely in play. Uh, he's been known to throw a curveball or two, but I, I we talked about five minutes before we went live. I had him going Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know if that's so sure uh, surefire answer anymore, OSU. Well, the pick is in in October. Going to the San Francisco 49ers. We saw October with the 49ers two Maddens ago. Had absolutely zero success out there. Said he hated the team. He didn't want to go back there. But with the athleticism the 49ers have, with George Kittle, Richard Sherman at cornerback, a uh, developable quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, he turned down his own Eagles, and he's going to the San Francisco 49ers. You like the pick for him? Yeah, I do like the pick. The San Francisco 49ers have a lot of talent. I like the Eagles a little bit better, but I can understand. I really like the San Francisco 49ers jerseys, uh, the gold and red uh, that that is something that I I really think looks well. Uh, Update: on a, Porter is on a, screaming in Xbox chat. Yeah, so the top, top two teams, are his top two teams <laughs> which were Texans and Cowboys. And if you come into this and you know anything about the NBL admins, excuse me, Texans and uh, um, 49ers. 49ers. If you know anything about the NBL admins, you think okay, October's going Eagles, Bombers going Lions. That ends up flipping right now, and he 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 doesn't Porter know says, where he's going. Give my go. spot to Reezy. He's out. <laughs> I'm resigning from the NBL. <laughs> well, let's He's go resigning through. or re-signing? It looks He's like he said uh, re-signing. Oh, that is so, re-signing. Uh, we're going to sign Hall of Fame Porter to an extended contract this year. We're going to sign him for 10 years. Um, Locked in. We are going to have some incentives in there for bonuses, but he's going to have to keep him uh, keep on the straight and narrow. We know that's going to be tough for him. It's going to be tough. We saw Virginia Beach. <laughs> As so we might have an out on the on, on that. But yeah, October goes San Francisco 49ers. Pretty cool. Who's up next, OSU? What do we got? Well, it's, it's OSU. NBL record 184-214 and Woo! two. Two division titles. Madden 19, Atlanta Falcons. Gibbs predicts the Dallas Cowboys. He says our very own network director. OSU has informed us of his interest to take the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know who I informed about that, who the us is. But apparently some conglomerate has been informed. Uh, QB Dak Prescott will have a familiar feel, and having a good O-line to rush behind with Zeke will give OSU more offensive options. Yeah, I had Dak Prescott at the end of the cycle. Wasn't a big fan at the end of the cycle, uh, but then again, this Falcons team, I sort of wanted to throw into some sort of trash can at the end. It wasn't a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you had a lot of success early on with the Falcons. Julio Jones lost a step or two. Uh, he ended up going to Denver. I think he went to the Jets first, no, or was that a couple of Maddens ago? I think he just went to the Broncos. Stayed there, kind of finished out his career there. Uh, injury issues really haunted that team. Uh, the Falcons, known for injury issues now, that actually happened to them in real life throughout that year. So maybe you were kind of living uh, their future in our present. Wow. If that makes sense, well that was a pretty good well off the top of the dome. Uh, shout out to Bomber. But yeah, Nick, so where, where are you going? What, what team are you with? Well, I'll put it up on the screen. I'm going Baltimore. No, I'm not. But I just want to put this up just to see, <laughs> see, see if he has a stroke. No, I'm going Dallas. Uh, that Dallas Cowboys team, too many weapons to pass up. Uh, going with my hometown Buckeye, Zeke Elliott, at halfback. That offensive line is nuts. And But, I mean, more than anything, uh, that that defense, Byron Jones at cornerback, uh, DeMarcus Lewis oh, yeah. on the defensive line, Leighton Vandrush, a, a young uh, Jalen Smith at linebacker. I mean, that team is stacked from front to back. And, uh, you know, I got to stick in the NFC. I know Bombers abandoned us NFC friends, but I'm going to stick out in the NFC. I like to pick uh, Dallas Cowboys. They have the most ability players on their 
Uh, current roster, I think it's five. A lot of young talent on the defensive side of the ball. Really, really young in the secondary. Middle linebackers, Van Der Esch, Jalen Smith, Byron Jones. Uh, there's just so much talent Sorry, Z. on that. Oh, Excuse okay. me? I'm, I apologize to Z because uh, he... Uh... He 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 had uh, he said his heart stopped when I, I said the Ravens. Oh yeah, that, that definitely would have thrown <laughs> a little bit of wrench in his. I plans. thought it was he, funny. He's the only guy that's really been publicly consistent with his team for a long time. Well, here you go. You have the five teams chosen so far, spread across all the divisions. Uh, and now let's get out of the top five. We got one more admin to get to. It is the man who knows how to ruin the start of any vacation. It is Bobby Toto. 161, 254, and won three division titles. Last season, the LA Rams. Gibbs predicting Chicago Bears. He says the Bears, Bob will definitely be going with Chicago Bears. How can he not with the Bears having Khalil Mack, one of the 499 overall players at launch? He'll be looking to build up the young Trubisky in a tough NFC North. Um, so far, I would just like to point out, Gibbs' predictions have been absolutely horrible. Absolutely not terrible. Just Has he got any <laughs> right? He got trained. You. And no, me. you in the Cowboys. So he's two. Let's keep a track on that, guys, and see how much see uh, how Gibbs, Gibbs gets right. Doing. And it, it's not a knock on Gibbs. It really has been uh, some twists and turns. I mean, I would have thought October was going Eagles. Me and Ois, you talked about it. I said five minutes before. So it's this is it, a tough. This is a tough thing to predict, though. Like we try, we've tried before to pick like the the drafts in NBL, and those are kind. Of, those are easy, a lot easier than this. This is this is tough. Oh, now um, the last two years uh, talking with josh he's uh black lab 18 how is the order chosen um that's a good question our team selection order is uh very dependent on contributions within the league um because we're a content first league and we do so much it's it's all about what you do for the league while you're here whether it's uh doing jobs at the network whether it's doing jobs for twitter or helping with the rules committee so um it's all weighted on that so um as you work uh, the top guys in team selection are guys who have contributed a ton. Um, but a good question. Um, let's get right to it. Josh, uh, we had thought Chicago Bears the whole time. This was a, a pick that I think most people had 100% Bears. But no, Josh not going to Chicago. No. He's taking the Indianapolis Colts. He's taking that young Colts team. Uh, Lip, a team you said you thought would go higher than people expected. Six, I think oh my gosh, yeah, way higher than people expected. Uh, Andrew Luck, one of the top quarterbacks in the game. T.Y. Hilton, that offensive line much improved. Lip, I can hear the surprise in your face, and I think a lot of people in the chat surprised that Josh is not going to the Chicago Bears, including Chi Town Bear 54, who I, I can tell is heartbroken that Josh is not representing his own Bears. Yeah, uh, I, ha I have a little sheet here that I'm putting everybody in when the picks are in, and I had Bob as Bears at, before he even started, like before even any of the admins, anybody or any of the admins before him. I did not think that he was going somewhere else, but this is the team I was talking about is going to go early because they have a lot of good young talent. They don't have a lot of it, but they, they've got a lot of players to build around. they got a lot of cap room. It's a really interesting team to build um, so I'm, I'm actually very excited for him to take a team that nobody really thought that he would, you know, was even on his radar. Josh and a quick, the and a quick alert. -line. He yeah, followed the you. -line for the Colts. Quick he alert, followed though, you. I got a story about that. I'm going to get to it in just a second. Quick alert. The Chicago Bears uh, longtime fan, Draco's drafting at 15. He's saying, please, oh, please give me this me. Bears team <laughs> with Khalil Mack. Would Draco I be happier that the Bears fell to him, or would he be as happy as he was at the WWE show front row? I don't know, man. He was like three you know, and a half inches away from Shinsuke Nakamura. I could tell that he couldn't stand up for a second before after that. He was like, I got to sit here for guys. Hold on. I got to call down. Nobody will, will be able to tell us or, or nobody has those mental images we have of our, our young kids. Well, Draco's like mid 30s. <laughs> young kids. Draco. And, and one uh, old ass dude with G. us. We were just tapping each other. Oh, going, look at this guys. It was totally worth it. You're like, absolutely worth it. <laughs> Pay double. Uh, but 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 yeah, the Bears might fall to 15. Gibbs is a lifelong Lions fan, lives in the area. He wants the Lions in NBL. Maybe they fall to him. I think he's at about 20 right now. So uh, that's just something to watch. Uh, basically, Josh asked me about Stafford and how he was doing two days ago, and I thought, oh crap, maybe I'll let him know because he does like playing me in my division every other cycle. I said, dude, I'm not I'm not going Lions. Sorry. He's like, what? You're running from me? That was his first response. So I started <laughs> laughing sure. because I was like, I did not expect that. And I'm like, I'm going lines. He goes, well, you can't run from me. And then uh, that started the conversation. And uh, he decides to go with the Indianapolis Colts, which is actually his second favorite team or maybe even his favorite team. He says he's got this little story. He is from Indiana, does live in Indiana. So yeah. 
Ah, uh, makes sense for him to go to Colts. A little bit of a hometown choice. Yeah, that makes sense. As we go to the number seven pick in the NBL team selection is Z-Star, the grid commissioner. Uh, NBL record of 204, 67, and 1. Seven division titles, six conference titles, and two Super Bowl titles. In Madden 19, he had that Dallas Cowboys team. Did not win a Super Bowl. And Gibbs predicting he's going to leave the Cowboys and go to the Baltimore Ravens. Star will be looking to light up defenses with Lamar Action Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Star will also have halfback Mark Ingram and a decent O-line to run behind. Can the bridesmaid finally become the bride in Baltimore? And there's really no need to sort of beat around the bush. He's been very clear he's going Baltimore the whole time. He is going to the Baltimore Ravens. And Lip, this team seems like it fits Z-Star play perfectly. An athletic quarterback, a very athletic wide receiving core led by Hollywood Brown, and a running back in Mark Ingram that has shown a lot in the early stages of Madden 20. Yeah, him and I have played probably you know upwards of 10 games um, so far of Chiefs and Ravens. We were very open that these were the teams that we were going to take. Uh, and he's got, I mean, he's got it down already, how to use Lamar Jackson, what he's capable of, what he, what is a little bit outside of his skill set yet, but you see that superstar rating, Lamar Jackson, with the ability to pass and run, is going to be a very highly rated player in a, in a season or so, especially with Star, because he's going to be successful. Now, this is a really good team. Defensively, they're highly underrated. There's a lot of talent on that defense that you don't really know about. But that's a really great pick. And like you said, that fits star. That's going to be a great pick. They're going to be in the playoffs quite a bit. All right, let's go to the number eight overall pick. That is our graphics guru. It is Jamie, 76-52 and 52 in the NBL. Seems like he's been here a lot longer, but uh, just uh, a one-division title for Jamie last year in a very tough NFC South. He was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Gibbs thinking he's going back to Tampa. He said, I think Jamie will end up going with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with players like Jameis Winston, Mike Evans, uh, David, and Sue. Jamie will be looking to put the pressure on the NFC South. And Bomber, this was another one. There were some of those picks that we just sort of knew what was going to happen. Uh, and this was one of them. Jamie is going back to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's a big Bucks fan. Um, and this is a team that has a lot of potential to build with an established player like Mike Evans. The question for uh, that I have for you, Bomber, is how long will Jameis Winston last in Tampa? Uh, how long will he last on the first stint? Because you know he always comes back a second, third, even a fourth time last mat, and he came back during the five-year sim. It was four times. He had four stints on that team during seven seasons, and then if you count the five-year sim, obviously pushes us up to 12. But pretty remarkable. He's almost like that quarterback that just cannot find its way anywhere else and it just comes back home. Uh, you take a look at this Tampa Bay team. He gets a start with $300 million. Uh, I think he's got an opportunity to do something special in Tampa. Jamie's really excited uh, about being the Bucks this cycle. And now we go to our number nine overall pick. Says MBM, we know him as JB, 104 and 24, eight division titles, Lip, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, and he had an absolutely dominant run with that Chiefs team uh, that he won every single division title. He was dominant out there, but he can't be the Chiefs this time as you took him at number two. Uh, so Gibbs predicting he's going to go to the Carolina Panthers. JB told us he was torn between the Panthers and the Texans. I think he will follow Jamie into the NFC South with Cam Newton and the Panthers. 98 overall, Luke Keekley will lead this team on defense, and I feel JB and these Panthers could be deadly. And listen, if your choices were the team you were in Madden 19... Your team, then the two teams you wanted, either Texans or Panthers. There's only one choice there, and it's Carolina. <laughs> and yes, he is indeed going to Carolina. How do you think JB is going to do uh, with uh, a team that he admittedly loves? Yeah, I, well, if he does go Panthers, which I think he will, because this is one of the situations where it's kind of opposite of, of Bummer. We were we were the same team for so long. Um, JB going in with the Panthers, that's that's a team that I think he needs to be. He needs to be these these, these Panthers because he's going to do great things. I think that we've talked about this before, but JB's problem with the Chiefs was that there wasn't a lot of defense. And, and first off, Luke Keekley's going to be able to. I played Luke Keekley one game. He forced a fumble immediately. I was done. I was like, I do not want to play Luke Keekley ever again. So that defense has some talent. And of course, you've got Cam Newton, dual threat quarterback. Is that it kind of fits in line with Patrick Mahomes from Madden 19 cycle for JB. So he's got some familiarity there. So there's a lot of great things about this team and the fact that he likes this team. It was one of his top teams to get. I'm very excited for him to be the Panthers. Well, here you go. Taking a look is before we get to the number 10 pick. Uh, look at the divisions. AFC North already two teams filled. AFC South with two teams filled. Nobody gone to the AFC East or the NFC North yet. That takes us to our next pick. And it is uh, the Gubberino. 210, 61, and 1. 11 division titles. Four conference titles, two Super Bowl titles. I can already tell you that Gibbs got this one wrong. Madden 19 Gub was the New England Patriots. Gibbs predicting that he is going to go to the Cleveland Browns. Got some bad news. It says, definitely going Browns if they're still on the board. Well, you know, not bad. 
offseason acquisitions of Odell, Olivier Vernon, Kareem Hunt makes him look to make an impact. Uh, Bomber, you're not talking about Gubb. He was one of the wild cards because it was a pretty good chance that Browns team wasn't going to get to him at 10 with two big Browns fans ahead of him. So now Gubb becomes that owner that you wonder, all right, any division he goes to, you immediately think of as he could be the favorite in that division. Yeah, you, you look at his ability to build a team especially ground and pound defensively where he's going to go. If he gets any kind of talent, it's going to be really dangerous uh, for Gubb. We also have Slam drafting after him. I look to see the NFC kind of shaping out a little bit more as we hit this middle road, probably 10 to 15, 16. No pass to pick has been used yet. Uh, let's see if that also gets used as well. Uh, let's see what people are saying in the chat. Motor saying Gubb going to the Chargers would be nasty with Gordon. Uh, Motor saying also maybe Bears. Uh, Bomber, I think you sent me the wrong team because you're. I think you're 100 percent wrong. That's not where he's going, right? <laughs> you're 100 percent wrong. That's it. I'm That's having it. PTSD flashbacks. Are you kidding me? I don't. Uh, I st I still think you have a big upper hand here. The Philadelphia Eagles. That's where Gub is going. A lot of talent on that team out of the box. 93 overall it. offense. Fletcher Cox, Zach Ertz, Carson Wentz. Uh, expert was calling for the pass. Shy Town Bears saying the Pats. It's you saying Cardinals or Saints. It's going to Philadelphia. Lip, your thoughts on the pick? I I like that. I like that pick a, a lot. They have a they have a great defense. The uh, Gub. I mean, we've gone back ever since that Redskins year bomber. We've always talked about Gub's ability on the, on the defensive side of the ball. On offense, it's a little different because they're not really that run. The, they're not like a power eye run the football kind of team. Yeah. They've got offensive weapons, though. They've got Ertz and they've got Wentz. They've got the quarterback locked down. So it's going to be interesting. They have a ton of talent at wide receiver. So it seems like Gubb's saying there's a defense there. Everything else is there except a running back. Maybe he makes a trade or he, at the latest year one, he gets the running back that is going to last him all cycle. That's going to be a very dangerous team. Always going to be in the playoffs there. That is that is a great team for Gubb. Yeah, and they also have a very fast secondary. Uh, I think he can move some pieces there and kind of get what he wants. But, yeah, not the traditional ground and pound team that he has. I, I like the Chargers for him. Uh, I can like I the 49ers the for him. Can I pass the pick now? Am I allowed to repass the pick? <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought that Gubb was going to go Chargers because I had talked to him a couple weeks ago. and I, a lot of teams that he was going. Yeah, and he said Chargers, and I was like, that makes sense with the defense and Melvin Gordon. That made a lot of sense. Um, but to see the Eagles is a surprise for sure, but it's a great pick. It's also a surprise team that fell down the board. I think a lot of people thought it was going to be off the board top five. Uh, <laughs> and now I get to go back to my AFC West nightmare. So cool. <laughs> uh, I'm looking it would for be a... worse, Nick, if I would he like had to the Cowboys. I'm going to be on Experts do, Corner. The Eagles. If you had the Cowboys, you'd be, it'd I'm going be to the way Dynasty. worse. Do you, want to, do you want to swap Chiefs for Cowboys? <sighs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Live air swap right now? Uh, Live. Uh, Put 11. it in the double box. Uh, you mean the dual screen <laughs> double box action? <laughs> Number 11 overall pick is, of course, the Sklam man, the Sklam de Bandy man. It is Adam, 64, 47, and 2. Mad 19, his hometown New York Jets. Gives predicting back to the Jets. Said, I was informed by Sklam that there's a 69% chance he'll go with the Jets for Madden 20. And if you know Sklam, that's 100%. Jets have a nice looking defense with Bell running the ball. This team could be a grind you down and control the clock sort of team. Bomber, do you want me to break uh, Gibbs' heart with the hundred percent, or or should I do it? Oh, what was the what was the hundred percenter? Uh, he's saying Sklam's hundred percent going Jets. Yeah, that that, that not. definitely not true. Go ahead and announce it. Woo! New Orleans Saints for Adam Sklamberg, another very talented team out of the box. Michael Thomas, Cam Jordan, uh, Alvin Kamara at halfback, and of course. The uh, timeless one, except in Madden, Drew Brees. So, uh, Bomber, a team that uh, now is going to be controlled by Sklam. He's going to have to deal with that quarterback situation year two because I've yet to see very many sins where Drew Brees lasts more than a year at 40 years old. But there's no doubt the weapons, a young, talented offensive line. Uh, now he's going to go to a division playing with uh, JB as the Carolina Panthers. Uh, it's going to be interesting down in the NFC South. Yeah, Cam Jordan is a beast. Anybody had an opportunity to play against him, which I think most of us did because during the EA Access, he was one of the four teams that you could play with in the quick game. Uh, he is phenomenal, and he gets a lot of pressure, and he's one of the best uh, pass rushers in the game uh, so far. He just seems like he's always getting three, four sacks a game. He's going to be a monster. I, I predict him to have close to 30 sacks in season 40 of the NBL first season for Madden 20. 
uh, before we get to our number 12 pick as uh, this reloads so I can show you the full teams chosen. As you can see, a wide, two wide open divisions still. No AFC East team selected, no NFC North team selected. Two in uh, each of the other divisions, except for the NFC South. Only one team open in the NFC South. It was the first team filled in Madden 19. Will be the first team filled here in Madden 20. All right, a chance for one of those AFC East teams, Lip. It is unisolated. Up next, the assistant network director, 147, 235, and 2. Uh, last season, one with the Tennessee Titans. Gibbs predicted he goes back to his uh, his favorite team, the New England Patriots. Said ISO is definitely going with the New England Patriots. Not only are they his favorite team, but who can pass up Brady, even if it's only for a season or two, with wide receiver Edelman, wide receiver Gordon, wide receiver or running back Michelle. On Isolate and Brady are looking to run the AFC East. Do you think Shadow does it and goes to the New England Patriots? I'll be honest. I actually have no idea because I I always thought that he would go Patriots, and then like last year he went Titans. I'm not sure if he goes back. I think this is going to be one of those ones, and just going with the, the numbers of, of what Gibbs has been saying, I think that this is going to be a curveball. This is one of those because ones Because he said where 100%, he... you're like, there's no way he's going there. <laughs> we, I just, I just, I was just, my, you know, just going over, okay, you know, this team, this team, this team, oh, an isolated Patriots, and then you move on, you don't put a whole lot of thought into it, so I, I think that's going to be wrong. I think he's going to throw us a curveball and go to a, a random team. Where that will be, I have no idea, but I don't think it's going to be Patriots. Well, I haven't, to have had the inside information already, I knew where an isolated was going <laughs> as of about six hours ago. He is going to the NFC East. He's taking the Washington Redskins, 75 wow. overall team. But a lot of young talent there. They, of course, acquired Landon Collins from the New York Giants in the offseason. Uh, a running back court uh, with uh, Chris Thompson, Darius Geis, and the rookie Bryce Love. Uh, quarterback situation, a little bit of a question mark. But uh, if you can develop Dwayne Haskins to be that star, uh, you're in great shape. Um, and then defensively, uh, a lot of star players. Uh, Bobber, what do you think of uh, an Isla going to the Washington Redskins? That's a good pick. I, I like Montez Sweat. I think they have a lot of young talent. Even the young quarterback they just brought in, I think they have guys at halfback who's, if he can stay healthy, one of the top halfback potentials in the NBL right out of box. I, I like the uh, I, I like the pick. It's a good pick for him, and I think he can compete in that division. I think that division is going to be uh, very, very fun. Let's see who takes the Giants. As we go to number 13 pick, it's the man who is raging in every Xbox party right now. It is T-Ports, the man <laughs> who definitely knows where the bathrooms are. 159, 159, and 2, the <laughs> definition of mediocrity. <laughs> Carolina Panthers in Madden 19. Uh, lip, probably the best drafter in Madden 19, I think. Uh, James Gonzalez. Order is 159, 159, and 2? Yeah. <laughs> Mediocre as it gets, man. Um, Carolina <laughs> Panthers it. drafted a lot of great talent out there. Gibbs predicting Houston Texans. I got some bad news for you, Gibbs. Getting this one wrong, too. I believe Porter will be going with the Texans for Madden 20. Fell in love with Deshaun Watson in 19. The Texans have one of the few 99 overalls. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins as well as stars. J.J. Watt and Jadavion Clowney. So with the Texans off the board, with the 49ers off the board, where's Port's going? I, I've got to give Gibbs credit. He's got a lot of good... Uh, say it again. Say it again. Gibbs... i got to give Gibbs credit. credit. <laughs> Are you eating a sandwich? He, he, he was trying to give Gibbs credit, but his his yeah. mouth was like, I'm not giving this guy credit. This has been terrible. Uh, he's got a lot of good theory there. It hasn't played out well. But uh, Porter, you have to go Pittsburgh, man. The team, This is the universe saying it's your time to go to Pittsburgh. Yes, 49ers go Pittsburgh. early. Correct. The Texans go early. Both of those are gone. You got to go to Pittsburgh. And he is going to Pittsburgh. Everybody's saying Pittsburgh. And, yep, Porter's going to his, uh, his team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Lip, uh, gonna be weird seeing uh, Porter as the Pittsburgh Steelers. Are you worried what he will do to that team? No, not at all. I mean, he had a couple good years with the Panthers, and uh, I think that the I, I like this on the level of um, Porter being his favorite team. He likes the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm very excited for somebody else that likes the Steelers to be the Steelers, get a chance to have Ben Roethlisberger for a couple years. Doesn't quite get the Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell years, but he still gets a great team, great offensive line. I'm very excited for Porter to be able to use his favorite team in the Pittsburgh Steelers. As we go to the number 14 overall pick, it is Cougs 59-68-1. Let's show you the team's already chosen three in the NFC East and the NFC South. Nobody yet in the North or the East. Wide open division so far. Uh, and Bomber, Coos coming up. Madden 19 is the Baltimore Ravens. Gibbs predicting the LA Chargers as the team uh, for Coos. 
Uh, Coogs is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. He seemed torn as to where he would go in team selection. I believe he will follow Lip into the AFC West and take the Chargers. Great core with Rivers, Gordon, Allen, uh, and Coogs could, and I don't know what, there's nothing. He wrote a paragraph that's so long it got cut off. Uh, <laughs> and it's impressive um, that he wrote that much I wanted to see more of the information that was not going to be even not close. correct. That's not correct at all. Gibbs, because- shout out to Gibbs, one of the best uh, four-hour companions. Uh, he wrote Shotgun, gave me a sh- ton of leg room on that four-hour trip to Virginia Beach, so shout out to him. But you've been incorrect on these uh, predictions, and uh, it's a tough show to predict. I mean, look where the top five went. It, it got all crazy. It's domino effect at this point. But Coogs. <laughs> POI that-, that one, Gibbs. POI. Give me a POI. Ooh. <laughs> Coogs going to Seattle. Hey, you Wagner. also – oh, is he going to Seattle? Oh, he's going, going to Seattle. Seattle. Packers are still out there. That's a really good team defensively. They got Amos. They've upgraded a lot. I wouldn't be surprised they go off the board anytime soon. Yep. Yep. Uh, Seattle Seahawks for Cougs. Lip, I, if I remember talking to Cougs, I, I think everybody had said there's no way Cougs going to Seahawks. He doesn't want that team. Uh, and he proves how much of a liar he is because he's taking Bobby Wagner and Russell Wilson and running with those Seahawks. Yeah, I, I think whenever he realized that he was going to be able to get the Seahawks, after he started putting together who was going where, um, that was uh, he realized that he was going to be able to get the Seahawks. And I think that's where he was actually set this entire time. It's a great team. It's got, you know, of course, you got Bobby Wagner and Russell Wilson. You've got the leaders on both sides of the ball. Uh, you can build around those two for a long time uh, because for some reason, Bobby Wagner never decreases in, in productivity and never so leaves. He's, he's just very talented for a long time as far as how, you know, how we play through a cycle. So that's a great team for him. He likes the Seahawks. So I'm very excited once again for somebody to get their favorite team. Well, Bomber, let's talk about the man coming up next, number 15. It is Draco, who... I'm, Shout I'm, out to I'm, Draco. Congratulations. He, we're just going <laughs> to... The luckiest SOB on the face of the earth. There was there was a probably a less than 5% chance that the Bears were going to fall to Draco. He was the Bears in Madden 19. And for those of you who don't know, Draco and Josh tend to alternate between who takes the Chicago Bears. They're both Bears fans. Gibbs predicted the Rams wrong again because uh, he's going back to Chicago. Unbelievably, this Bears team with the amount of talent they have defensively with Khalil Mack, with Roquan Smith, with Eddie Jackson, and with Mitch Trubisky and Tariq Cohen on the offensive side of the ball. It's somehow, Bomber fell to Draco at 15. He must be ecstatic right now. Yeah, shout out to Draco getting his uh, hometown team. Yeah, and this team is an upgrade from last year, which was a great team. I I think a lot of people are sleeping on him, probably because Trubisky isn't an elite quarterback, but Cohen and that defense, Khalil Mack, as you stated, Jackson, there's so many weapons offensively for this team and some great gadget play from Cohen. I think it makes up for the lack of, uh, you know, just dominance that you're going to get at the quarterback position, being such a dominant defense and being able to have that short game I'd like the Chicago Bears at pick 15, and this is a favorite to win the NFC North now. And here you go. Here is your updated team selected through 15, heading to number 16. Uh, one spot available in the AFC North and the NFC East and the NFC South. The AFC is wide open, pretty much wide open in the NFC North as well. As we go to pick number 16, the halfway mark, it is Serp. Serp and Madden 19, the Arizona Cardinals, 100, 154, and two with three division titles. Gibbs predicting the New Orleans Saints already off the board, so another one. Incorrect from Gibbsy. Serp will likely take the Saints head into the NFC South. Uh, so basically a wild card here, Lip. Uh, where do you see Serp going with the teams on the board? I really, uh, I don't, I don't have a good idea about this one with his team that he, the Gibbs was saying off the board. I'm thinking he's going to try to go somewhere that was similar to the Cardinals. So I'm, I mean, Jacksonville is a, a team that's like that. They've got a somewhat of a run game. They've got a defense. He could always go back to the Cardinals, but I don't think he would do that. But the Rams are also a very talented team that are falling down the list. So I think if you're looking for maybe the one of the better teams that people thought would go higher, I think the Rams might be that call, but I have no idea if Serp ha- ha- is thinking about them. Well, you're better wow. than, you're better than good, Gibson this because uh, he's going to the Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> 81 overall team, lot of talent. Uh, of course, and 99 wow, overall. Something Aaron phenomenal Donald. is about to happen in the NBL after this pick as well. It's getting oh, really good. Oh, boy, I'm scared. I haven't got this. I'm getting these sort of on the fly. Rams for Serp again. He's going to have to change his Twitch name because it says NBL Cardinals. Got to change that one. But boy, uh, Bomber, Todd Gurley might be, you know, again, you talk about the top weapons in the game right now. Todd Gurley is on that list. And you get a 99 overall in Aaron Donald. It's nuts. Yeah, a lot of talent. A lot of talent on the Los Angeles Rams. This was a Super Bowl 
uh, NFC champion, went to the Super Bowl, a lot of talent, obviously a little older at, at some of those positions. I think that's what takes away from this team, but there's still a lot of talent on this team. I like this Rams team, and I like that division. Another pick that Gibbs is going to get wrong is uh, Tout at number 17, 88, 134, and 2. Madden 19 is the Minnesota Vikings. Gibbs strict in the San Francisco 49ers. Off the board in the top five. Says of the top three choices just past the midway point of team selection, I think Tout will go with the 49ers, following Draco into the NFC West. 0 for 2, Sparky. This team has got a lot of young talent for Tout to build off of in the coming seasons. Uh, Bomber, you played with Tout, Minnesota Vikings, but uh, yeah. don't think he's going to the same place. Uh, what, what, is, what, is, what is the team that Tout is looking for? What sort of options does he want? I, I think he's looking division, and the way it it, it it's panned out so far, we have the division up there. Uh, you take a look at that NFC West, and you see October there. October Tout have a crazy weird uh, low mid-card opener round rivalry that's crazy <laughs> back and forth. If you really are a diehard NBL fan, you know about the Tout October games. They are crazy. I told them they need to get in the same division because it would be very fun to uh, be a viewer on and watch and just hear the stories about the crazy things that happen throughout their game, and I think we might get that tonight. Well, boys, we have uh, filled our first division in Madden wow. 20. Here it goes, Lip. Going to the Arizona Cardinals. That's a great uh, division. And uh, he's Patrick Peterson, Chandler Jones, David Johnson, 874-year-old Larry Fitzgerald, uh, and uh, <laughs> a guy by the name of Kyler Murray that a lot of people were very excited to play with, and uh, Tal's going to get a chance to develop that young team. Lip, you like the pick. Oh yeah, and, and you know what the things that Bomber had said about you know looking at division, not necessarily a team. That's probably the team that they've got the most flash with Kyler Murray. You can do a lot of things with a quarterback that can that's got the wheels that he's got, and then go into a division where you've got a great opponent for Tot uh, in October, and then you've got other teams in there. They're they're kind of that group of guys that they're going to be battling. That's going to be the a NFC West. Same thing as last cycle. You're going to be battling. You're going to see a different winner every single season, I think. It's going to be a great division to watch. It's going to make for some great storylines. I'm very excited because that's a very good division. Our first division filled is the NFC West. Uh, as I'm waiting for Darst to update this graphic. Um, it, it, it is... Uh, that is... Bomber, you talk about team, uh, divisions. You look at them strength, but you also look at them competitive-wise. Uh, and you look at that NFC West, Tout, October, Coug, Serp, that could be a division where you end up with three or four different division winners. My question for you is, of all those teams, okay, Coug's really is the only one that had major success. He won, what, 11 games in the AFC North, a very tough division. We saw uh, Serp have some success in the NFC West, but not uh, in by far what was the weakest division in the NBL in Madden 19. And Town and October have been third and fourth place in the division most of Madden 19. So is the yeah. NFC West still going to be that division that doesn't have 10 game winners? Yeah. Are we looking at nine games getting into the playoffs again? It's going to be. Uh, Serp is the. Probably. I was wondering where he was going to go. And I knew he was going to be opportunistic because. He just came off seven wins getting into the playoffs. He's got to be opportunistic because he's not winning much, but yet he was making the playoffs. So he's been getting the feeling of winning, but not really winning too much. And guess what? He picked a great division. I think he's going to flourish in there. I think they're all going to get an to opportunity to win that division. That's going to be an open division. Very, very fun. Also that the division where I don't think anybody has a good stream. Am I wrong? <laughs> right. Yeah, but Sir believes he has a good stream. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's the non-streamer division. Yeah. <laughs> As we uh, continue on here, pick number 18 is Under Oath. And Liv, this is where uh, I, I've always said, if I'm in the NBL, I either want to be picking top 10 or I want to be in that 18 to 24 range. And uh, what we, we are officially past the point. Nobody passed the pick this year. So now you get into that place where you're going to get a middle-of-the-road team, but maybe get to pick the division a little bit. And Under Oath, one of those wild cards. Madden 19 is the Denver Broncos, uh, a perennial second-place team to JB. Goes, Gibbs saying Atlanta Falcons. says Falcons are number one on Under Oath's list of teams he wants. They're his favorite team, and if they're on the board, he's going to take them. This team has pieces to go far early in the cycle. Under Oath joins JB, Serp, and Jamie filling up the NFC South. Uh... Well, that's wrong uh, because Serp's not there. But uh, you see Under Oath going to Atlanta, uh, considering, as Gibbs put it, he's number one on his list. Yeah, I, I, I mean, Atlanta's a good team, but uh, I I don't know. I don't. I, as far as opportunistic, I don't really see anything. Maybe 
I, I was actually thinking before you were talking there, I was thinking that the Falcons might be the best division as far as you fill that division. Um, JB and Adam, JB's got the most, you know, playoff success. Um, but I kind of feel like I could see him going to the Patriots because they look like one of the better teams. You know, the Patriots, Packers, they're one of the better teams, Chargers. Those are the three teams that are, you know, the better teams. But as far as what he's thinking, I have no idea um, as to where he's going. I don't remember if you guys were on the, I know Bomber was on the broadcast. Do you remember that broadcast we did? I was in a, a rookie draft in Madden. I don't remember if it was 18 or 17. Um, and TFA was on the broadcast, and TFA had all the inside information and got every single pick wrong. Like, everyone <laughs> lied to him as to where he was yeah. going. <laughs> well, yeah, everybody purposely lied to TFA. <laughs> well, the number one choice on Underos, uh, uh list is the Atlanta Falcons, uh, and we are filling out another division. There he's we go. the New York Giants. Uh, he's not going to Atlanta. He's going to take Saquon Barkley and that New York Giants team. Uh... Barkley is the main attraction here, Bomber. That's it. Uh, there's not a whole lot beyond uh, Saquon Barkley. Uh, perhaps yeah. you can develop Daniel Jones. Uh, but really, it is Saquon Barkley. The running game is so strong in this one that you want to play with a guy as good as Saquon. Yeah, I, I feel sorry for uh, Daniel Jones. He's not going to get an opportunity oh, gotcha. here. This is not a passing player. This is a ground and pound system. Saquon Barkley is going to get a lot. It's going to be very Eric dependent G on Eric G says, I don't know what to do, Z-Star. I hate Under Oath. <laughs> Oh man, it's it's, it's getting uh it's getting a little uh a little hot in the chat right now because uh, a couple teams going off the board. You, Eric G thought maybe he had an opportunity for them to fall there. Under oath takes them, and uh, under oath not uh, not a very passing quarterback. So I, I don't think we see much of Daniel Jones at all. But I think the ground and pound game Saquon Barkley can do a lot of damage, and we'll see what he does uh, if he can build this defense up. Well, more surprises are sure to come as we head to number 19. It is the man who loves laying on the floor and hugging the pole. It is Nemo, 73 and 71 in the NBL. Two division titles. Uh, that Washington Redskins team last uh, cycle. Uh, Gibbs predicting Green Bay Packers. I believe Nemo will be the third person to join the party in the NFC North, taking the Green Bay Packers. Nemo wants to challenge the NFC North crown. He's going to use Aaron Rodgers to do it. The NFC North just got a lot more interesting. Packers still on the board here at 19. Are you surprised, Lip, that the Packers have not been picked up with a quarterback as good as Aaron Rodgers? Um, I would have said yes a couple of weeks ago, but I put them in my top five last week. I thought I think they're a great team. They've got a great secondary, and they've got Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he literally can't be picked off in some situations. And to see them fall this far is actually surprising to me because I think they're one of the better teams out there all around. And Aaron Rodgers only being 35, I think he's got most of this cycle left in him, especially if he plays well. So looking in that division, there's nobody there except Draco. It's wide open right now, and you've got a great team. I definitely see Nemo going there because that's who he said he wanted. And Lip gets one right, and unbelievably Gibbs gets one right. It is the Green Bay Packers for Nemo. 76 overall team, 81 overall offense, of course, led by their man Aaron Rodgers. But Bomber, more interesting is they've got some pieces. David Bakhtari on the offensive line. It's actually a nice offensive line. They've got some young wide receivers in Valdez, Scantling, and Allison, and, of course, Devontae Adams. This team has is one of those teams that Nemo could do something with with a couple of drafts. It could turn from a team that is a fringe playoff team, maybe a playoff team for sure with Aaron Rodgers, to a team that could be challenging for NFC titles because of how good their young pieces are. Yeah, they have a lot of young pieces. We talked about their defense earlier, bringing in Amos as well. I'm happy uh, Nemo got the Packers because that is his hometown team. That is the team uh, that he roots for in the NFL, so it's good to see them go uh, and, and get an owner that is a lifelong fan. Make sure if you are lifelong fans, you use lifelong fan when you join the league. No moguls for you then because you've been a fan for such a long time. Uh, you don't get the $300 million. Obviously, just kidding there. But uh, I'm excited to see the Packers uh, off the board, man. It's a very good team. Defensively, much improved team. And you have Aaron Rodgers, so you always got a chance. Number 20 it is the man that can't get one right. It is Gibbs, 6-58 and 58 in the NBL. Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, lip, uh, rough, rough cycle for Gibbs. Uh, but he's predicting himself, ow, going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm leaning towards the Jaguars. They're available. They have a nice defensive run game. Plus, Foles can always be replaced. Those Seahawks, Redskins, and Raiders are all possibilities. Because he didn't think the Lions were going to follow him. Yeah. His hometown Lions are there. Is Gibbs going to be like a couple of the guys we've seen so far, be a honorable human being and select his hometown team? Yeah, I think that's it. I think I've, I've heard him say before that he's never going to get the Lions in NBL, so he doesn't even think about it. So I think this is the time. The Lions are there. He's here. 
he's going to be the Lions. And I'm once again, I'm excited for somebody to be able to be their team. I think that he said he was the Lions in grid, but he never got to be the Lions in MBL. So this is the opportunity, and he's absolutely going to go Lions. So cool. So cool. Gibbs is going to the Los Angeles Chargers. So cool for him to take his hometown. Wait a second. That's the wrong blue. Gibbs going to the Chargers. Are you serious? He's selling out. He yeah, I don't ever want to hear anything about the Lions anymore. Then, then that's well, no, dead, you, right? you hold up. Stop the show. Yeah. You're, All right, hold on. Hold on. Stop the show. Let me pause the music. Show he is stopped. Really We're, on, pa on, We're on pause. Lip, you take it. Gibbs really passed on the Lions. This isn't a joke. No, no, no. I only joke on my own pick. <laughs> I can't believe that because I remember these conversations from a long time ago. Him saying, you know, oh, I was, you know, I was only the, the Lions in grid. I'll never be the Lions in NBL. And Bomber takes the Texans. The Lions fall the whole way down to 20. And Gibbs passes on them. And here's what he says in the chat. Here's what he says. Horrible O-line and not taking them in grid either. Is he allowed to be a Lions fan still? <laughs> Um, I, well, I, I, I don't disagree because I, there's things as a fan, you're allowed to not like, I, like me leaving Pittsburgh. Like I've told, it's like me and star have been talking for, you know, a couple, couple weeks. Like he's like, dude, go to Pittsburgh. I'm like, I miss Ben Roethlisberger, but I'm just mad at Pittsburgh. So there's that reason I'm not going to Pittsburgh. And, and there's, you know, there's a ton of reasons why you may not want to be your favorite team. We've seen guys pass on their favorite teams all you know, all in the history of NBL. So I can understand it. Um, and a terrible offensive line is hard to deal with. So I can understand it. But also he's a sellout. Got an opportunity to get the, uh, the, the his hometown team. Doesn't take him. As now we're through pick number 20. Let's take a look at the teams that have been selected so far. Not a single team from the AFC East has been taken a wide open division. One spot available in the AFC North, one spot available in the NFC South. Uh, two full divisions, NFC East and NFC West. Full right now as we head to our next pick. Uh, pick number 21, it is Captain Planet. He's a hero. 25 and 55 in the NBL. He took over the Oakland Raiders in Madden 19. Uh, gives free to him to go to the Arizona Cardinals. That's not happening. Uh, but he says Planet's top two of three teams he already wanted. They're off the board. Uh, actually, it's three out of three are off the board. Uh, Steelers were the third team who are still available, but I think the intrigue of Kyler Murray and the Cardinals will draw him away from the AFC North. Uh, Bomber, Captain Planet, uh, sort of third on the totem pole in the AFC West the entire time behind JB and Under Oath. An opportunity for him to select a team where maybe he can shine a little more. Uh, what do you sort of see from Captain Planet? I, this is kind of a rebuilding Broncos team, but they still have some good pieces right now. I think maybe you start off the cycle missing the playoffs a couple seasons, but you're able to flip that into some real talent in which you can get uh, some of those key positions that can really help your offense take off and compete with a team like the Kansas City Chiefs or even uh, the Los Angeles Chargers talent. So I think uh, Planet's thinking to the future here, trying to compete maybe three seasons into uh, Madden 20. Uh, but I like the Broncos' defense. I think they're actually a, a pretty good team, but uh, definitely have some uh, obvious glaring holes. Yep, he is going to the uh, the Denver Broncos. That leaves only one team open in Lips Division. Lip, you've already got Gibbs uh, and now uh, Captain Planet in the same division. What do you see uh, from that division that you're in so far? I, I think it's going to be a good division. Those are guys that I enjoy talking with. I, I have some dark conversations with Planet, and okay. Gibbs was a great, great that, job. Wait, wait, stop that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> They're in the, the chat, Stop you the guys. show. No, stop no, the, no. They're no, in the show stop. <laughs> Define dark. Um, like, I'm not, I'm not defining it. I'm not defining it. You guys, it's in the main chat. You guys have read it. It's funny. It's entertaining. You and I talk about Taco Bell. Let's point that out. That's what we, and, and, uh, <laughs> and Chef Boyardee. Uh, as we move to pick ah, number, don't forget the toothpaste. The toothpaste. Let's move to pick number 22. That is Darce Knight. Uh, DLUR says, Jesus, some God teams open. I respect it, though. Yep, it, that's how it goes. And now you're going to see uh, some strategic picks. It's Darce Knight, uh, who helped put the show together. Big shout out to Darce out there. 30 and 34, one division title. He was the Seattle Seahawks last time. Gibbs saying New York Giants, which are not available. Uh, Darce Knight does uh, so much work for the NBL. And uh, Lip, where do you see Darce taking it with uh, some of these divisions? Starting to really take shape. Uh, does Darce maybe take advantage, or does he Hold go? Hold on, real with quick. He's watching right now. Reezy, I own you. All right, keep going. Um, so the, the I would like the, to point out that <laughs> Porter says lips project farting, which I think he meant project fatting, but I like project farting more. 
Uh, Fat, I know you're at work. You may must now change your gamer tag to Project Fart. Sorry, carry on. I 100% have not talked to Captain Plan about teams at all, and I was so sold on Gibbs going to the Lions. So, but Porter also had me going to the Packers if if uh, Bomber took the Texans. So he just he's got a weird thing of making claims against me that just have no uncalled. It, it doesn't make sense. But I mean, I'm Chiefs, Bombers, Texans. You were wrong, Porter. But um, moving on, I think the best teams available are the Falcons. I think the Vikings are pretty good. I'm not sure. The Vikings seem to fit Darce in that weird kind of surprising way. And, of course, like I said before, the Patriots are still open there with a wide-open division. And, of course, the Jets. The Jets are a team that have really slid down a lot further than I thought before. Um, so I mean, it's really wide open. But I think the Vikings kind of seem to fit uh, Darce in that weird kind of unexpected way. All right, Lip, I want you to do an exercise with me before we reveal this one. Um, you've ever you've watched the Olympics before, correct? Um, partially. Okay, uh, you you know how the Olympics start, right? Um, with the torch. Torch. I want you to hold that torch. Like pretend you're holding the torch. I want okay. You to, to pass it over to Darce Knight. Okay. Darce is taking the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ah, there we go. Uh, it, there was a plan with that whole bit. Uh, Happily passed. <laughs> uh, Lip, please don't throw the fire at Darce Knight. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey, Calais Campbell, Telvin Smith. Uh, Lip, uh, give Dar some advice with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, it, it's totally different now with the way that the funds operates within the game. Uh, my best advice would be get rid of Calais Campbell immediately. And probably the next thing to work on is to move off from Nick Foles because I think they paid him a lot for what he's actually worth in the game of Madden. So that would be my number one and number two as, as far as advice for the Jaguars. But as far as having great defensive pieces, they got Miles Jacks, they got um, Jalen Ramsey, they've got a lot of good guys on that defense. Offensively, they got two great linemen. So that's, you know, a good start there. So I would just say, look out for, you know, plan for the future for Nick Foles and get rid of Calais Campbell as quickly as possible. So here you go. Here's your look at the updated uh, selection so far. We moved to pick number 23. Uh, one, two, three, four divisions with one spot open. The NFC North has two spots, and as we head to pick number uh, 23 in Motor, the AFC East still does not have a team chosen bomber. Does that surprise you that nobody's gone to the AFC East yet? Uh, it's it's a little weird because Tom Brady is so dominant, and the Patriots team's actually pretty good. I understand the age being an issue. The Dolphins don't have a good team. I understand that as well. Uh, the Jets have a pretty decent team. I don't know what the, the fear on them is right now, but it's wide open. So who would have thought in the last 10 picks we're going to fill an entire division? Here we go to pick number 23. It is Motor, and uh, Bomber Motor was dominant with the Miami Dolphins. Two Super Bowl titles, four division titles, 67-13, and 13. and now he's in that position at number 23. We, you and I talked about it. Picks 23-28. to 28. There are some very talented players in that. You have Motor, you've got Cringe, uh, you've got Gov. Uh, Motor, the first of these guys uh, to get to choice, and there are some interesting choices out there. Yeah, there are. There are a lot of interesting picks left. Uh, we'll see how it all pans out. What are we on right now? I'm, I'm on Pick behind 23. the scenes. And that is who? Motor. Oh, we're on motor right now. Yeah, I don't, Do we, I'm not, we I don't just talk this? about motor for poops and gigs when he's not up. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to motor, the last, uh, the reigning NBL champion. If you put an exclamation point season in the chat, you're going to get the uh, information on his last Super Bowl with the Miami Dolphins. He was NFC, AFC East last year, so... Stick with it this year. New Maybe England it Patriots. makes sense to go back to that same division. We already seen Jim it with Motor Captain the, Planet. He's taking the Maybe. New England Patriots. Tom Brady, Stephon Gilmore, the team that everybody thought on ISO was going to go to falls all the way to Motor. And so I would just like to point out right now, Lip, we were laughing at people saying the AFC is already the strongest division. But let's yeah. point out Bomber, Lip, Z-Star, and now Motor. Yeah. All in the same conference. I'll tell you what. Um, Are we saying JB's got a chance or what? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. No. I'm sorry. I, let me also point out, I don't want to offend anybody. Porter is also over there. But in terms of the top players, <laughs> Bomber, Lip, Z-Star, and now uh, Motor. No, that was that was great as far as like um, seeing what's available, the best situation, not even the best team. But Motor was able to get one of the better teams. Now, that's kind of... Sorry, Josh goes into chat and says, anyone want to trade teams in the NFC? Josh is already out. 
He's, yeah. He followed Bomber, and now he's like, oh, wait, guys, wait a second. Guys, it yeah, doesn't look good over here. It's going to be brutal um, in the AFC uh, come playoff time. Um, but for Motor to get the Patriots, that's kind of a shorter term because he's going to have to replace Tom Brady at some point. They don't have Gronk. Um, there's some players that are really good, but they're kind of older. Uh, but as far as the division, it's 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 completely open. Now these last couple of people are going to have to wonder if they're going to go to the AFC East with Bon or I'm sorry with Motor and that Patriots team because that's a that's a great team to get this late in team selection. DJX in this chat says Skins a solid late pick too. Wasn't that late? Went twelve. Uh, number twenty four, Bomber, another one of those top uh, owners. It is cringe. Uh, who uh, I believe he has said, and Bomber, correct me if I'm wrong, Cringe has said he is uh, a booty at this game. He's not good. Is that, is that what he's saying? It's what he's saying. That's what he's yeah. asserting. Wait, he's saying who's not good? He's say, Cringe is saying he's not good. Yeah, he's terrible. He he's wasn't terrible. good at Madden 19 either. Okay, well, Cringe is taking a terrible team, and he's going to fill out a division. How about Cringe taking that Atlanta Falcons team? Here's the I'm gonna do what Lip did. Here's the torch. I'm launching it at you. Take it <laughs> and good luck, buddy. I'm running away. Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, Cringe, have fun with that one. He says I'm gonna ag catch the piss out of everyone. <laughs> that, that's a that's a great division. Um, JB and Cringe and Adam and Jamie. That's a that's a good division. They've all made playoffs before. They all can get to that ten wins. Um, obviously, Cringe has, has won a Super Bowl, so to watch JB and Cringe go at it, um, and then you throw in Jamie and Adam, that's going to be a great division to watch, just like the NFC West. The NFC South is going to be a very entertaining division. I mean, people are talking about how good the AFC is, and it's true, but let's point out in the NFC, uh, as we look at the updated list, uh, the NFC does have, they've got JB, uh, that NFC South Atlanta spot will be filled by Cringe. You've got Gub and you got Draco. That's a strong core of owners with some success between them. Nemo says the NFC South is stupid hard. Once again, now, JB, Slam, Jamie, and Cringe. Yeah, those, uh, like I said, those are guys that have all gotten a 10 wins before. They can they can definitely put together good seasons. So there's going to be some battles for that division. It's, that's, uh, that's, pr- that's going to be pretty entertaining. I'm excited for that. 25 on the clock now, waning down here in the NBL Madden 20 team selection. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Game Master, only 9 and 7. One season, one full season worth of games for Game Master. Uh, Bomber, tell us a little bit about Game Master because uh, he was the Green Bay Packers. You got to play him a little bit. Um, this was a guy who actually competed pretty hard with the Green Bay Packers team late in the cycle. Yeah, really good uh, a competitor. Never made the playoffs, fell short every time. Good competitor. Okay, well, that's rude. What? He was a division rival. What do you expect me to say? He came up shorter <laughs> than Z-Star. Than that's Z-Star. The, that's the Ooh. correct answer. Didn't down. Because he's both short JRE. and a bridesmaid. Yeah. He's both <laughs> short and a bridesmaid. Z, in case you didn't get it, there's your short joke for the team selection show. Let's reveal Ooh. where Game Master's going. Dubes says, am I still going to get the Viking? Hey, Dubes. No, you're not. Because Game Master is taking the Minnesota Vikings, a team everybody thought was going to go 32 but this team might just have too many weapons to go last slip, and Game Master's going to stick in the NFC North. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good team. Like I was talking about, I, I said that I thought Darce would take them, but this is a really good team now that the fun situation is different. They've got a lot of talent. There's a couple contracts on there that are a little bit high, but you've got your quarterback. You've got a great running back. You've got great. some decent— How about uh, the wide receivers? Thielen and yeah, Diggs. Yeah, <laughs> getting there. They have— an unbelievable amount of talent on offense. They've got a lot of talent on defense. The only problem with them is that they do have some high contracts. They, they did give some players a lot of money. So as long as you can manage that, but you should be able to with the diff, you know the way the funds operates now, you should be able to manage that for a couple of years and, and be able to get the bad ones off of the roster uh, and then put smart contracts back on. So that's a really good team, a team that I'm surprised fell because a lot of people in the league said, Whenever this game came out and we saw that the fun situation was different, a lot of people said Vikings are top 10. The fact that they fell this far is actually pretty surprising to me. All right, let's talk about your best friend, Bananas. Uh, 185, 101, and 2. 10 division titles, 4 conference titles, 3 Super Bowl titles, 34 rules violations. Madden 19 is the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Gibbs predicting the Buffalo Bills, a team that Bananas very high on. So that, so that's wrong. So that's that's incorrect, yeah. So that's wrong. That's okay. Wrong. So uh, if it's not the Bills, where's uh, where's he going? So he's coming to the division to be the Raiders. Okay. So where do you think he's going? Yes. Okay. 
Well, Bananas is disappointing you once again. Really? Correct. Bananas is going to the New York Jets. He is taking Dude. Le'Veon Bananas. Bell. Hey, here's what we're going to do. Let me just do this. Uh, I'm going to pause the music. I'm going to leave the floor to Lip. Uh, Lip, talk to your 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 car driving cohort, uh, the, the, the White Claw man himself, uh, the man who's whiter than the White Claw. Talk to Bananas about him not manning <laughs> up and coming to your division. I mean, I don't really, I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to, to get to angry. Lip. <laughs> get angry. I I thought that he, I really thought that he was. And the fact that Gibbs prediction said Buffalo bills, like this whole time, bananas said bills and Raiders. So the fact that Gibbs said bills, I was like, Oh, he's, he's a Raider for sure. I think Eric G needs a hug. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, that's a great pick in the, you know, with opportunity there. You've got motor and bananas in that division, the two best teams in that division. They're going to be battling, and that's going to make some for, for some great NBL lives. Those are two great owners, two great teams. It's going to be very exciting. The AFC just got that much tougher, but I'm very excited to see that for sure. Bananas and motor not really. in one division. Uh, not really. Shout not out to HK tougher. Legacy with the two months of subscribing. Uh, you're saying it's not that much tougher, Bob? You, you, oh, don't, you don't mean, believe in the is the easy playoff win. Easy, Ooh. easy. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just numbers, man. It's nothing, nothing personal. It's just what is it, twelve and one, thirteen and one. Ooh. Here you go. Here's your updated NFC East, NFC South, and NFC West all filled. One spot in the NFC left. The entire AFC though is open. No divisions filled in the AFC. They all scared boys. Uh, as uh, we move to pick number twenty-seven. And that is uh, another one of the best owners, uh, talented owner in Pricey. 100 wins, baby. 101, 298, and 1. Uh, Bomber, is this right? No division titles, no conference titles, no Super Bowl titles for Pricey. Is that correct? Are we sure on that? Uh, might have to get back to you on the Super yeah. Bowls. Everything else, somehow Pricey has never won a conference championship, but I do believe he has a Super Bowl. He's that gotta, kind of he's player. Gotta have you said you sounded like Pricey when you said that. Listen, uh, bomber. <laughs> listen, bomber. I won bomber. A Super Bowl in the five year sim. Did you see it? I built a heck bomber. of a team, man. Bomber, listen. Oh, I you want to hear? All right, I got a Pricey story for you. You want to hear his newest joke, Lip? Oh, <laughs> he's like, hey man, I'm I'm just happy those tweets uh, didn't cost me my draft picks this year. That would have <laughs> sucked. And I said, what are you talking about, dude? And he's like. Y'all just took him out in the five-year sim, right? I still won. <laughs> <laughs> I said, dude, you are freaking hilarious, man. Oh, jeez. Exactly. Oh. And when we were talking about Vegas 2020 for the NBL, he was Ooh. telling me, he's well, like, bro. yeah, I don't know if Bob goes, man. He just doesn't really like to leave Indiana. That's like his thing he's been pushing to. I'm like, what the heck are you talking well, about? Why are you Bob, saying that? Bob's two for two. He went to Tennessee. He went to Virginia. Yeah, and he, and, and he only talks about he only talks about um, the fact that he's been to the um, where is it? He's been to the uh, been to Texas uh, Beach and then Florida beaches. Like he always talks about those as his beach vacations. So I'm like, Pricey, what are you talking about? He's like, ah, he just doesn't like to leave, man. It makes him a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know, man. Bob, Bob's two for two. <laughs> well, uh, everyone excited to see where Pricey goes. Uh, not not for anything other than they want them in his division. Uh, and uh, so Pricey, uh, he is uh, taking over the Oakland Raiders. He's taking Antonio Brown, that Oakland Raiders team. So just to help out, uh, Lib, just to help Pricey Lib, out. Lib, you might have the worst division of all time. Look, yeah, this you might good? be Are you considering, my, considering my record so last far. cycle. You might be right. Just uh, bomber, can you help me into the mind of Pricey? Okay, a hundred wins. You take what is one of the worst teams. Thoughts? Do they have bird know. scooters in Oakland? Is that why they took them? Who is who's it? who's left there? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Buffalo, Miami, Cincinnati, Detroit, Tennessee. Well, see, see, I don't, Tennessee. I don't know if they're the worst because I mean, Dude, they got, the Lions could be the last pick. Yeah, I mean, how the, crazy the, could that be? Hey, the, how crazy the is this? If the Lions talent. are the last pick, bomber, Dubes is gonna be the Lions. That's crazy. They go from one to thirty-two. Imagine that. That's yeah, insane. one for six years and then thirty-two. <laughs> one time I don't says, take them. Is well, this that's a just, sim league or do they play? Something. Yes, we play. That just says something because, like, if the Lions were going one 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 and then they go thirty two, like, just take me for example. Like, the Steelers were going like two 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 and then they were going, you know, they weren't going thirty two. So that's that's an unbelievable flip. 
Well, for the Lions to go late. Like let's that. go to pig number 28, the man who needs Gibbs. more of a hug than anybody else. Uh, it is Eric G, who has watched every team he wanted off the board. Uh, 153, 102, and 1. Five vision titles. Cincinnati Bengals last time. Uh, bomber. Bengals go still back. on the board. They're Who's still that? there for Eric G. The Bengals are still on the board. Does go Eric back. G go back to Cincinnati? Does he go oh, back? I, I think he should. I think that would be a nice pick for him. Yes. Uh, but I don't know if he wants to take them again. He, he took them last year. He's a guy that kind of likes a new start. He's kind of upset that he didn't get the Giants or the Jets. He probably thought the Giants would fall to him as bad as they actually were on paper. But surprisingly, they went early. Who ended up taking the Giants? Uh, it was uh... last year. Under oath. No, this year. Under oath ended up taking them. Just oh, kind of yeah. surprising out of the blue. And... Uh, you know, I don't know where he's going to go. Where is he at? He's taking his talents to Tennessee. He's going to take the Tennessee Titans. 81 overall offense and defense, which, of course, you're 81 on offense, you're 81 on defense. And make sure 78 overall team. Good math out there. Uh, Jarrell Casey, Delaney Walker, Kevin Byer. <laughs> I, I just I always laugh at that stuff. So. Good math out there. Dude, the AFC is buck wild. Insane. Now it's going to be Eric G out there. He joins, <laughs> uh, fills out that division. Hey, that's going to be, uh, so, we're going to get some Bomber and Eric G. Bom Bomber, there. talk to me. Bomber, Josh, Dars Knight, Eric G. Oh, that's going to be easy, man. Just a, just, a, <laughs> just a walk in the park, man, uh, on, a, on, a, on a Tuesday. Something easy like that. Uh, not too worried about that uh, division very much. But the AFC is going to be tough, man. Excited about that. If you're one seed in the AFC, you're going to be really, really yeah. Uh, in for a very tough, tough schedule. Well, let's go to the uh, 29th overall pick. It is the man who knows nothing but a cover zero blitz. It is the governor. 59 and 37, three division titles as the New Orleans Saints last year. Uh, all right, lip, what, like, maybe not for Gov, but just walk me through this. You're looking at the teams that are remaining. Bills, Dolphins, Bengals, Lions. Who's number one on your list? I, I honestly think that you have to go to the Bengals because they've got A.J. Green. They have a quarterback. Um, I'm, they've got some other pieces. They've got a really good defense as, as far as the teams are, are available. Um, Bomber and I were talking about the Lions defensive line. They, they're improved. They got slay. So honestly, right now I'm with Bengals and Lions as my top teams in each conference. Um, it, I, I would say go to the Lions though, however, because I think that is a, a, a division that fits Gov better. I think it's a more competitive division for him. How about this? How about we now have a division with Motor, Bananas, and Gov as he takes the Miami Ooh. Dolphins. The worst team out of the box, but Gov looking to build that bad boy up. 68 overall. He is slam on offense at 69, 71 on defense. Uh, not a whole lot here, but a team that I think if you're looking to build, this is that team, and now he's going to play with Motor and Bananas, and we get to find out what Gov's really made of. Yeah, so there's two things at play here. He's trying to prove to the league that he can manage funds and money and salary because this is a team that's going to have a lot of that. Once you get some of those contracts that you don't want out, you're going to have a lot of money to play with. That's for sure. But then he's also taking on the competition that's clearly the most competitive division left out there. So you've got Motor and Bananas, and now you've got Gov going to the Dolphins, which is a team that's got a lot of cap. But the good thing is... They've got, a, I mean, he's going to have kind of a blank canvas there where he's going to be able to build whatever kind of team he wants through the draft, free agency, and now trades. So that's going to be a really exciting division to watch because as those Dolphins get better, that's going to be a third team in that division that's got some good ownership. Now we head to the 30th overall pick. It is our Yeehaw man himself. It is Brad the Trucker who let <laughs> confirm. I need to know this because I could not determine. Worst driver, Decadog Dog, Brad. <laughs> one ended up in a garden wait one brad took, wasn't a good driver brad oh, took eight times yeah. to pull a car out of a driveway like he yeah. was awful so who's like worse the thing the thing uh. was i was telling brad i think like i feel like i could i could drive i think i could drive his truck i think i could drive his big truck but Pause. for him to for, for him to a big truck for him to drive a car i just it is unbelievable how bad that went so i can understand a 60 year old man plowing into a flower box but uh, 10 out of 10 of when we car. got out of that car and just look at it Ooh. front wheels in the garden it was bad but um but it was but, not I mean, brad 
yeah, it was uh, it was almost dark. OSU. Whenever we got back from Ice Cream Town, um, you know the flower life. box is kind of low. It's it's much lower to the ground than yep. the the yep. driver. Yeah, yeah. So um, Brad not being able to operate just a normal, just a standard vehicle was <laughs> very shocking. Oh, here's your pick, Bradley. He's uh, gonna fill out the AFC North. He's going to take those Cincinnati Bengals. John Ross, A.J. Green, Geno Atkins, and a questionable quarterback situation. But, hey, listen, Lip, for Brad, at least he's not taking over DB's 49ers. Yes. Positive steps. <laughs> the, the, the team, the roster that he came into that basically only had an outside linebacker who was making close to $20 million a year. So, yes, you are correct. Well, uh, Bomber, we got two picks left. Uh, and... Uh, Project Fat gets the S. He's just listed here as Fat, which I love. Didn't even go Project Fat. Just Fat. Just Fat. <laughs> He's just Fat. Gibbs to the Steelers here. Really? Um, if Fat has an NBL record of 0-0. Zero and zero. Now he was here. I watched him play. <laughs> I have... Gotta hey. play a full season to get a, to get any record. That is correct. That I, is the I, rules. And once you leave your... I, your but he's not, the rules. he's not a 0-0. Zero zero. He's also been in the NBL four times, so let's be honest. He's, yeah, well, He that's has true. plenty of a record. So Fat gets to pick for the other uh, the other pick, Dubes at 32. Uh, so who would you take between the Buffalo Bills and the Detroit Lions? Dumb question. Let me ask Lip. Lip, who would you take, <laughs> Buffalo Bills, Detroit Lions? <laughs> um, uh, I kind of already got into this. Uh, I, I referenced Bomber and I talking about the Lions um, just a couple of, of, of hours ago. Uh, the defensive line is very good. They've got Slay. They've got some pieces on defense. So I think if you're okay with Stafford and you're okay with not really having a, a, a really elite wide receiver, uh, there's room to build there. If you want to go total rebuild, uh, blank canvas as, as much as possible, then you go build. Blank I think what? Blank canvas. Oh, I thought you said canvas. Campus. No. no. Blank, blank canvas. canvas. It's kind of like Would when be... uh, Darth Bint, Darth uh, Dark Brawler said uh, pay per view. Bill? Uh, Paper I'm just saying Lions and Bills, uh, interesting choice. Uh, but uh, so. if I had the choice, I would go Lions because I think they have the most talent on the roster. Unless you're looking for the most open money, uh, then I would go to the Bills because you'd be able to build but, your way. Let's point this out. Motor Bananas Gov. Yeah, so I'm. this is Project Fata. He's 100% going Lions. And you're right. He's taking Bombers Detroit Lions at number 31 overall, 74 overall team. No more Super Bowl titles for the Lions. Uh, but, uh, oh, brutal. But hey, their concession <laughs> stands are going to be top notch in the league. They're going to have out some of five. bump. You are like, correct. I will be going to every game. I'm just pointing that out as, uh, <laughs> Bob, let's talk about Dubes. He's 32 on the list. Doesn't even get to really pick. Uh, and now he gets the joy of playing in the division with, uh, Motor, Bananas, and Gov. So Dubes guaranteed last place every year, correct? Like yeah, he's gonna struggle. I mean, uh, he's it's gonna be a tough, tough. Uh... Oh, he's he's gonna be in some trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Dupe says I could. <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't name three people on the Bills. Oh, really? <laughs> he thought he was getting Vikings, and he gets the Bills. That's that's a rough turn. That's a rough turn <laughs> for sure. Shadow Shadow says Dupe's a hundred percent gonna just head back to Grid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, now I gotta wait for because uh, I want to take a look at the full divisions. I gotta wait for Darst to update this all. But uh, uh, let's uh, let's let's talk a little bit. Lip, biggest surprise outside of Bomber taking the Texans. Oh, biggest surprise. I would say that actually, you know, Train and Porter being the Steelers and Browns surprises me because i didn't think that both of those guys would be their favorite teams i'm a little shocked to see motor and bananas as patriots and jets because we thought the patriots and the jets would go to unisolated and adam but i'm more surprised that people you know got their favorite teams uh in the steelers and browns because a lot of times people hope that happens um sometimes people even try to make sure that doesn't happen they don't want to be their favorite team um and they say that but they end up those two Porter and train being their favorite teams, which I'm really excited about. So, I mean, that's a surprising team that two people in the same division got their favorite teams. And that also is what makes me the most happy because I want people to be their favorite teams for at least one cycle every so often, 
to just get a feel of how their favorite team is and let them, you know, really be in the driver's seat for their favorite franchise. Uh, Bomber, looking at the uh, full division list, uh, I think everyone agrees. All right, Lip. Well, let's start it over. You've won me on this. I'm going Detroit Lions with the first pick. Hey, there it is. We're Hey, let's just run this back <laughs> one more time. We All right, Ly- Lions one, Steelers two. Let's start over. Jazz Chiefs might fall to me. Um, that was just the pre-show. We're starting team selection now at 930. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm excited to announce that I am taking the Dallas Cowboys into Dynasty. Um, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out. See ya. Gub. Poor Gub. Poor uh, Gub. <laughs> I just, I'm having like PTSD flashbacks. Um, Although Bomber, entertaining both years, for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, I like, I mean, you know me. I like Gub. Uh, Bomber, we, I think we know a lot of people can look at this, see where the toughest divisions are. AFC East, of course, uh, incredibly tough uh, with uh, Gov Motor and Bananas. But is there a division you are most interested to watch uh, from a competitive level or maybe uh, from a level of you see some people in that division that could be sleepers for division titles? Oh, man, that's a really good question right now. Sleepers for division titles, you have to really believe somebody maybe couldn't win the division. Maybe I go Eric G in my own division. Uh, he could be a sleeper. I think Dars could be a sleeper. Um, that NFC West is wide open, so Cougs is probably the favorite. But I think October's a sleeper. I think he's going to have a really great cycle, especially with the trade rules. There'll be a lot of opportunities to make some big-time moves. And if you're patient and you, and you make the correct moves, you can make some big plays. Uh, I think Tout is another sleeper, as crazy as it sounds. And, uh, man, that's a, that's that's probably a, off the top of my head. Maybe Gov to win the uh, AFC East. Yeah, he's probably getting well. overlooked a little bit as the Dolphins. Uh, maybe in, in two or three years with some talent over there. Yeah. Um, what a team selection show. Lip, did this go... I mean, it, we know it didn't go as Gibbs predicted it because... <laughs> That's like, a hard thing to do, though. Oh, it's tough for sure. It's very tough. I, and most of them, I wasn't too offended with the choices. Although there were some teams that he said fell that I was shocked. Like saying the Steelers were going to fall. Yeah, that, that was that was the one that I would say that was a bad, bad decision. But overall, like I said, he had some good theory behind some of his picks. But it's, it's tough because... As, as we sit on the show, we can pick, okay, we've seen the teams that are go, uh, that have gone. Like whenever Surf was up and I said the Rams, that was just, you know, I knew where 15 other people had picked at that point. Gibbs didn't really have that option, so I, I can understand. Right. But it's, it's a tough thing to do. But what, what was your question? I'm just saying, uh, is this, you know, if you, if you w- go with a 10 being went exactly as you expected it and one being the most unexpected team selection ever, where does this sort of fall as to how things sort of fell into place? Every single season that we, uh, every single cycle that we go further into NBL, that number drops. The first couple of years, it was, a, you know, it was closer to a 10 because you had people, uh, the top 10 to 15, they took what, you know, what you thought was going to happen. But now this year, we're getting closer to middle of the road. I'm saying like a six because Gub taking the Eagles is is a big mix up in all this. And even October going back to the 49ers. Wow, it's a great fit. I love the pick. I love the division. I didn't think that he would actually go back to a team that he you know has a history with. Um, so there's a lot of mix up, a lot of different things changing. I think as we go through, as we grow together as a community, as Madden players, everybody's getting more and more comfortable with each other where we're more of friends than we are of Madden players so that you're going to see these mixing up of, of division people and opponents and, and people that want to play with people rather than they want to play with teams, which I think is a great thing. We should celebrate it. So to answer your question, it's definitely moving down as we proceed into MBL. Uh, Bomber, last question before we get out of there. Uh, and it's the question everybody's interested in, in knowing. Will Pricey get above 115 wins? He's at 101 now. Will he get 14 wins this cycle with the Oakland No. Rams? Okay, no, just check. No, no, If you'd have said 105, I probably would have. 107 no. will probably be the number to really look at it as far as over under goes. I'm a gunslinger, man. I get to throw it to Antonio Brown. It's going to be awesome. He, he goes, oh, oh, he caught it. He does that <laughs> like throughout the game. And I'm just thinking, man, how, how terrible of a pass that must have been where he's like, Bomber, I don't know. He's no. Oh, he caught it. <laughs> he scored. Bomber, I'm up 7-0. Gets real quiet. Final score, 42-7. to There you go. 
Well, we appreciate all you guys hanging out with us tonight on the Madden 20 Team Selection Show. A fun show for us, as always. Make sure you hit that follow button so you know each and every time we go live because we're going to have NBL Live broadcast throughout this cycle. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the grid Madden 20 in the NBL is officially underway. We're going to get out of here, but we hope we will see you throughout the season. For my co-host, Lip and Bomber, I am Nick Mazesco. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we will see you next time right here on the NBL Network.